And a marvelous Monday here on The Stew. Thank you so much for tuning in. We are your co-hosts. I'm Les. I'm Anika. And I'm Tap. Hey. <laughs> and I just want to give a quick shout out to Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is our final episode. But ladies, we still, of course, want to encourage each and every one of you to go out there and get checked out. Okay, just because the month is ending doesn't mean that you don't need to know what's going on with you and your body. So be sure to visit your doctor and get tested for breast cancer, well, in honor yes. of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. Definitely. As well, shout out to Halloween. Yay. Oh, yes. <laughs> I had a blast. Yes. Yes. Amazing, amazing. It was weekend. nice dressing up in costume. I never it like really dress was. up for Halloween, so that was kind of fun. Yes, it that was. was a, ooh, there <laughs> no, Rosalie is not here today. Oh, <laughs> bring her back. But she certainly <laughs> did have fun last week. So, <laughs> something else, ladies, I want to bring awareness to. An article uh, was printed in the Nassau Guardian recently talking about the amount of registered voters presently. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think a lot of people are aware of this, but the uh, registration for voting it only lasts five years. So 2012, that expired in July of this year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you do have to get registered again, because I know oh. having a conversation with somebody, that question came up, oh, well, if I had registered in 2012, why do I need to register again? No, you gotta register each time another election oh, is coming up. up. Yeah. But presently, there are only, I'm gonna give you a number right now, y'all know I love my numbers. <laughs> there are only, um, I think about 55,000 that That's have registered so far, oh, and no. that is 79,000 fewer than oh, no. the last wow. time but several promise, years we ago. gotta get it together. Well, you know what, I, I, I can relate. Um, I think a lot of young people, let's be honest, feel very lethargic and they don't have a lot of trust in our political system and how things have been going. Um, and just being a young person in general, I think sometimes there's a challenge of feeling like your voice isn't heard yeah. and a lot of people look at you because you're young and think you don't know what you're talking about. So I think a lot of young people do feel discouraged, but I would encourage young persons to go mm -hmm. out there and vote, especially um, in this upcoming election. Yes. I think I heard someone get, well, you can check the numbers since you're the number person, <laughs> that um, young people ages 18 to about 30, 35, make up 60% uh, wow. of the That's you know the lot. new voters so I think it's important no for young people to go out there and vote because we have a big stake in this upcoming election we and, do. and we need to let our voices be heard yep and what a better way than to get yourself registered so and do it early too before it gets like busy like I don't have the patience for the lines and all of that exactly. but if you do it early then you know yeah. you'll be fine yeah. Definitely. <laughs> so listen, um, I heard recently that uh, Jay-Z and Kanye, I'm totally oh, yes. switching gears now. I have the now. tea, I have the tea, honey. <laughs> Let me tell y'all. They're having a beef recently. So I'm team Yeezy. I love Kanye. I don't know if it's because wow. he's a Gemini and he's crazy and I may kind of relate to that. But the tea is that, um, you know, Jay-Z and Kanye have been together since... Um, the <laughs> Say been together. <laughs> no, I, I like how she hey, put homies. that, right? They have, yeah. they have had a romance oh, yeah, since yeah. he was... Um, uh, for, with The Rock, you know, and Dame Dash and all those guys. Mm -hmm. And so, kind of, you know, he goes on his rants and at a Seattle concert for his Yeezy tour, he started throwing shade. He didn't say Jay-Z's name, but we all know who mm -hmm. was because he started talking about how disappointed he was that Jay-Z didn't come to see um, him and Kim or give them a call or see what happened after, you know, Kim mm -hmm. Kardashian got, had that horrible robbery mm -hmm. in Paris. Right, right. And how their kids don't play together and, you know, he's being this horrible friend. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, I kind of agree with Kanye, although I don't know the whole situation. I'm team Kanye, so I'm biased. And I, I think it's strange that you've never seen Blue Ivy and Northwest together. You don't think that's strange? I heard that story and I was like, who cares? Well, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, there's one point now. No, I feel well, like no, you're supposed to be a good friend either right, way. Well, I guess, well, that leads to the next thing. You may no, be I had the blue ivy part. Oh. No, I, I don't really care. Well, you if personally wouldn't is. care if, if you had a friend who you, well, you know, had. Well, that's the thing. I don't think that they're actually that close. They've been friends for years. Yeah, they have. No, I've heard, yes. 
that is what has been said, but there's also some underlying shade there. Like if you listen to all the reports, mm -hmm. there are some other reports that they aren't actually as close as people think. Well, Jay-Z and Beyonce didn't even come to Kim and Kanye's wedding. That's why I'm so saying I think, I'm more inclined yeah. to believe that. So that, in that case, I'm but not But I think if it was me side. personally, I, I would feel kind of kind of sad that my friend didn't come to my yeah. wedding. But I think it all goes yeah. to, you know, people's expectations for friendships right. and, and relationships. So what are some of your expectations well, it really for, does depend. for friendships? If indeed, Kanye and Jay-Z, which I still don't think they're as close as everyone makes it seem, mm -hmm. but if they are that close, yes. You should come to my wedding mm -hmm. because I'm sure they were invited. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna not be invited. That's mm -hmm. like, you know, any one of us, you know, getting married and you're that close, but somebody doesn't come. I'm sorry, I'm gonna feel some type of way. You're right, you're right. After he stand out so hard for Beyonce at the VMAs, yeah. I mean, he yeah. fights hard for beat. Yeah. You will be Maybe getting all kind stand. of side eye for me. I'm sorry. Well, my yeah. expectations for friendships, I think, are pretty realistic. Like, I just want someone who at least feels concerned about me. Of and, course. like, you know, if, if I have to call you first all the time, like that's the problem. Like I don't have a problem initiating a phone call, but you can yeah. always tell it in my be opinion. Yeah, like if I'm always having to reach out, yeah. it's like, okay, what's going yeah, on? I, think, really I think it depends on the person. And I was talking to someone about this earlier that, you know, every it's all about managing expectations in yeah. any situation, whether it's a friendship or a relationship. And different people have different expectations and you can't project your personal feelings onto that person. And I think that's what relationships are about. Um, appreciating someone and compromising differences and everyone has a different love language. And yeah, I yes. found this very interesting I was just the about love to bring that the, up. the love languages are words of affirmation quality time mm -hmm. receiving gifts acts of service physical touch so different people respond yep. to in different ways so some people like you said if yes. someone's not calling you you may yeah. feel a type of way they're not spending that quality time yeah. some people if you never got a gift for them any christmas they may feel a type of way about right. that so what I are think your expectations um, for me, I like quality time. Uh -huh. and, um, what? You do? Just <laughs> oh, girl. You can shade me. I've been trying oh, to get this girl to come over. I was like, do I detect shade? You can shade me, girl. I've been trying to get quality, this girl to come quality over. Quality time. Just let's, saying. Yeah, let's move Words on. Words of affirmation. <laughs> Don't put me in the middle. You would you, you, you get shit me on national TV like that, girl. See, see, see why you got to know your people? Hashtag know your boys. Yeah, and Hashtag of this girl shading me on the TV. Know your boys. <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> Hashtag. Hashtag, Anika. So you have so much to say on that topic. What's going on with that? Have you ever had, had Catch any, yourself, honey. Yeah, Catch have yourself. you had experiences like that where, um, you know, you felt like you've been in a situation, toxic yes. situation with friendships well, or you know, relationships? No, 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 no. How do you deal with that? Thankfully, anytime, if I sense any kind of toxic anything, mm -hmm. I'm not oh. messing with it. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I just feel like I'm grown. I have so much to do and think about. I if someone's who. not like gonna be true, it's not gonna be a good friend, or who's gonna be negative, or someone who's gonna pull me down, I can ignore you and I can act like you do not exist. Okay. Yeah. Who's got the time for wow. it, right? Just saying. Ice queen. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Well, Damn, ladies, Daniel. Speaking of the shade <laughs> that you guys were throwing back there, right? Do you think that um, there was shade between Drake? And this song that he released recently, um, supposedly, allegedly shading Kid Cudi. I am so Did you sick hear and about tired that? of Drake. It. It's simp. He always simping. He always crying about something. He always mad about something mad. Well, like, just address somebody face to face. What you throwing shade for? Like, call a bro up and be like, yo. I don't like what you did. I don't like what you said. I don't agree with that. He's an artist. Oh, an an artist's job is to express themselves in music. Call me. And I feel it's to Call make someone one-dimensional and say, oh, as a rap artist or as a male artist or as a black artist, you can only talk about, you know, hoes shaking their bungi or, or whatever, <laughs> calling women, and biatches and whatever. No. So you if think he, the shade is okay? It's not shade, it's art, it's music. Mm. That's what but I think. You put, you, put, you, you put your, your mm. story in your, and they've been doing that for years and years, so I don't see exactly. a problem with this it. Exactly, this isn't anything yeah. new. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing Drake being an old simp. Call your boy, yeah. see with the problem. I don't want to hear about wow. it. All right? Sounds, cool. Well, it sounds like a personal problem. Uh, moving right <laughs> along. <laughs> Okay, before my friend gets too fired up over there, we're gonna cool things down a little bit with a fun little game. It's time to play Would You Rather? Woo! Not fair. Okay, so this is the political edition of Would You Rather. Okay. We're gonna ask the question and each one of us has to answer, okay? All right. Would you rather, really simple, who would you rather date? Leslie Miller or Rodney Monker? Whoa. Anika. Those are your options. Two last men on earth. Who do you choose to repopulate the Man. earth with? 
Okay, oh. y'all about and to we're repopulating. I, I would assume. Oh. Well, that in the case of okay. no, in can the, we just go to dating for now? <laughs> I mean, in the case of repopulating, you know, Rodney Monka don't believe in the devil pills, so the that's likelihood gonna happen anyhow, that's right? going to happen on a straw mattress, according oh, to him. Okay. Um, but okay, man, that's a hard one because you know, like Leslie Miller is an OG. You know what I mean? Paper. And you need a fellow who could like take charge. And you could probably go to the bowling alley for free. Yes! Free hot dogs. So dating would be free so pizza. fun. That's it, I'm sold. I, I, I like food. Food. Wings? Yeah. Oh, no, but I but you, I may consider uh, Rodney as well because at least I know he knows how to use Twitter. Yes. He's social media savvy. Yes. He can yeah. take all my selfies. He can be my Instagram husband. Like, and you, you never know, know what so. you're gonna get. And didn't he like claim trees in like parliament or and something? And I also like yes, the fact he that sure he, I think he's very health conscious. Yes. He so, is. I mean, can I so be I, like... Is it safe to assume then that Rodney's your pick? I no, who's your sweetheart? Uh, who's your sweetheart? Uh, who's your sweetheart? Uh, Rodney who, is my who sweetheart. Who would be my main, my main dude? <laughs> Leslie's my Leslie, main dude. because of free ticket to the bowling alley. What are you <laughs> talking about? There you go. Um, you know, I think it's that Political connections. Yeah. Chicken uh, wings. <laughs> you know. The raps are pretty good, too. Right. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, They're wings, too. Speaking of, we have so much more of the stew coming up. We are going to take a quick break, <laughs> but we don't want you to go anywhere. We'll see you right after this. <laughs> It's a Man Crush Monday here on The Stew, and we're combining a little health and fitness with our man highlight. At least he's bringing the health and fitness here to us. He's the owner and operator of Wolf Fitness Club. Please welcome Theodora Pyfrom. <laughs> <laughs> and she said Theodora. Yeah. <laughs> hey, oh, hey. I got it right. hey, ladies. <laughs> good Hi. morning. Nice Hello. How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> Welcome. I had to make sure I got the name right. Theodora. <laughs> Have a seat. Take it right here. All right. <laughs> now she said so, Theodora. Theodora. Who is Theodora? I and am, make sure we I get the pronunciation Theodora. right. I am Theodora. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why my parents named that, but I like it. It's, it's very unique. Mm -hmm. I think I'm the only one in the world, actually. Yeah. Might be. Could be. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't hear anything you said. I was looking at your muscles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get to it, shall we? Indeed. You're a trainer. Yes, I am. <laughs> and you're the creator of Wolf. Fitness, fitness Club. club. Yes. Tell us yes. about that. Well, Wolf Fitness Club was created when I um, decided to take one of my goals and make it big. Um, but I started out mobile, so doing like house calls, you know, beach boot camps, beach workouts. But now you're actually opening a location. So. We are. We are. Yeah. We're starting. We're having our own facility. It's located in the industrial park. Mm -hmm. And the grand opening is November 5th. Good okay. That's a mm -hmm. couple of weeks. That is right. Actually, next week, Saturday. Wow. I can tell you who won't be there. No. Anika. <laughs> Why? And this, this leads into my question. So, obviously, Anika is a very beautiful woman. Awesome <laughs> figure. She is the laziest girl ever. I have That's worked out. That's so no. true. <laughs> no, I worked. I tried to take this girl working out, uh -oh. and she can't even do five push-ups. Because push you work out like a Nazi. Like a... Less. <laughs> okay. She's a monster. I don't know if you've ever worked out with it. But what I wanted to know is, you know, a lot of people have this, I guess, misconception that, you know, fitness is for only a certain type yep. of person. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I look a certain way. I must be healthy. But talk about how important it is, not just from a yep. vanity point of mm -hmm. view, but mm -hmm. being healthy. Yeah. yeah. Well, definitely, I agree. Um, a lot of people think, oh, I'm slim, I'm sexy, my body looks uh -huh. right, so I'm good. I don't, I don't need to work out. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what people don't get is that the body was created to be maintained. Yes. For example, if you're driving your car and you like know you don't get to change the oil, oil or the coolant, your car is not going to love you. It's going to break down. Yes. Definitely. So the same thing happens to your body internally. And unless you go for a checkup, yeah. Normally, people don't know. They just go by visual views. Mm -hmm. And Theo, what I love about your fitness program, you don't only concentrate on the working out part mm -hmm. of it. You, yeah. You've mentioned that you, you handle nutrition, yes. Yes. you handle the exercise portion of it. So let's talk a little more about that. Yeah, well, my go one of my goals are to change the mindset, especially the Bahamian people, because we all know that even with our small population, diabetes, a lot of health mm -hmm. issues mm -hmm. develop and it's because of our bad diet. So what we do is we start you off with a nutritional program that will you know, get you going yeah. into a better, healthier life. Um, we customize your workout plans, nice. so everything is specified to suit your body and your goals. And we also help you out along the way with questions, choices, 
you know, so we, we try to actually make you a better person overall. Now, my thing is, because I know other people that do a workout plan and sometimes mm -hmm. they get in groups like what WhatsApp groups in particular, oh. where mm -hmm. they have to constantly post what yep. they're eating yep. and what they're doing, doing uh, throughout the day. Oh. <laughs> is that a part of your program? Well, we can do that. Yeah, but we, <laughs> we actually... Because we, otherwise, how do you know if someone's cheating or not? Well, it's all on you. Yeah. And mm -hmm. one thing I always say to my clients, you know what you're doing at home, so you can't rob me for not, you right, know, you right. have to actually participate with this. You have to give 100% because at the end of the day, it's a lifestyle change. What kind yeah. of trainer are you? Are you like, oh, I said no. give me 20. No. Or, <laughs> no, I'm going to be like, you've got 20 more. And then that's it. Well, he's it. definitely qualified. This yeah. ain't no bush bush. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's won competitions. He's, yeah. Oh, yeah, so you tell us more about that. He's a bodybuilder and... Well, I'll start... From last year, I was in a very tragic accident, almost died. Wow. Um, and then, you know, I just had to motivate myself, get my mind right to get back on track. And this year, I, I took it upon myself to, you know, build my body back up and get back in competition shape. I did four competitions. The first one was July 31st mm -hmm. in Freeport, Grand Bahama. And then the second was in Boca Raton. And then the third was here again, the national competition. I made the national team and then I went to Dominican Republic. Oh wow, so, so yeah. this national bodybuilder is gonna be showing us some moves later, Absolutely. right Laz? Yes, yeah. we're gonna take a quick break. And when we come back, oh my goodness, I'm almost afraid I'm not ready. what he's going to put <laughs> us through. Ready. But I'm also very ready. anxious, <laughs> so don't go anywhere. We're, we've got more of the stew with Theo after this. <laughs> And we are back with our Man Crush Monday here on The Stew. Woo! And we have Theo and Miko about to show us some moves here from Wolf Fitness Club. So, what have you got in store for us, Theo? Do Today we're going to do some light stretching. Oh light, we're good. Do a nice I hope so. light. Yeah. Light, okay. good. Workout. Light, I like light. I uh -huh. low impact yeah, too, yeah. by yeah. the way. So, of course. Yes. Impact? I don't know. Yeah. For beginners, <laughs> you're just going to touch the body a little bit. And okay, touch not, the not body. Too, too extreme. Okay. All right, all right. Well, let's get to it. Why doesn't he get right. on <laughs> She's fancy, darling. Not She's not fancy. Beach. Well, let's get into work this work hard. Because she thinks it's a fashion show. Working this out, out should mean you go. should be fabulous, too. Let's go. All right, guys. So, so we're going to start off with the stretch. Nice, light stretch. All and right. Arms up. Mm -hmm. Feet Spread shoulder fingers. width apart. Oh. Oh, so toes yeah. pointing forward. We're getting a nice torso rotation. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. Not bad. I always like this one. Still alive. <laughs> Still alive. Feels like a good way to get my back cracked. Yes. All right. Uh -oh, good. Now we're going to get a side oh, bend. Oh, you're watching me. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I want you to reach as far as you can. Get a nice stretch on the obliques. Opposite side. Oh. I feel like a ballerina. First I can position. feel the burn already. Can Second you feel it, ladies? Position. Can you feel it? <laughs> awesome, ladies. Now, <laughs> we're going to take it down. Wide feet. I want you to reach behind your heels. Uh, Be sure to keep your knees locked, all right? Lock, okay. your, your, lock knees. your knees. Oh. Take it down. So, 630. Are we touching the floor? <laughs> if you can. Oh, my God. I'm touching. I'm touching. Someone put tape on this room. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> now, you've got a standing quad stretch. Find your balance. Grab that ankle and pull. Remember when we used to do this in PE? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Gotta have balance. And you know everybody who has good balance Opposite or leg. not. I need like um, workout poses that work well for Instagram. <laughs> like, you know, ones that you could take pictures in and still be really cute. <laughs> <laughs> what does that look like? Because All right, the purpose ladies. of that is to look good on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're gonna start to off with some jumping jacks. We've got 30 seconds on the oh clock. God, jumping, jacks. jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. You okay. ready? Three, two, and one. Let's go. We got ten seconds. Nine, oh. eight, <laughs> seven, six, two, and rest. Oh, y'all ain't blow yet, right? No. Almost. Good. Awesome. Almost now. There. We're gonna work the obliques. We're gonna get a standing oblique crunch. I want your left hand to your waist, right hand behind the head. 
All right, now you're gonna focus on squeezing on your oblique muscles here. You're gonna lift your right leg, crunching up to the side. All right, it's very important that you keep your foot oh. beyond your knee. So this is for people who want abs, basically? Somewhat, it works. Those. Yes. Side. So, I feel like I'm not doing this. Lift it up. Right. And I know, crunch. right? It feels strange. Right this there. This will Let's make see. a good boomerang. <laughs> yeah. Good. That's all she thinks. Yeah, keep about. it going. Oh, come on. It's like that. How am I supposed to do You see, like, choo choo oh, one that beat. Oh, my gosh. Choo choo one that beat. We got 30 and, seconds, uh, ladies. 30 seconds. Let's go. Can I do that? Crunch it. Choo choo one that if I'm tired already? No, you should be. <laughs> should be getting there. Come on. Can I switch to the next side now? Three, two, and opposite side. Ready? Oh. Let's go. Wait, which okay. I know I look very crazy because <laughs> I feel crazy. Keep it up, guys. I know the things you do. <laughs> for crazy. TV, right? Ten seconds. Nine. I do okay. Eight. Seven. Woo. Six. Five, I have no hard four, eye coordination. That's three, why. two, I feel like and rest. Like a standing crab or something. Awesome. <laughs> now I know how much ladies like to work the legs, so we're gonna take it down for some body weight squats. Did you get this Every from lady. survey? <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> All right. So we're starting off feet shoulder width apart. I need your toes pointed forward. Okay. You're gonna apply all of your body weight to your heels. All right. Hands out front. You're gonna drop. Down oh, and back, all right? Lovely, so get as low as you can. The a 90 degree squat. angle is fine. So we're going down oh. and back up. Ready? Say, anyway, Three, okay. two, what, what? What are we doing? and one. That's a squat. Drop it down. Come on. Yes. Right back so up. Much. Yes, perfect. Come on, ladies. We got 30 seconds on the clock. Surprise. Every time he walks by me, he says, perfect. Hey. Just saying. Hey, Come hey. ahead of the class. Come on, ladies. Just Keep it low. Awesome. Make sure your stomach stays nice and tight going down. Oh, I feel As it. As you come up, it. exhale. He said, awesome on my side. There you go. <laughs> perfect. See? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Three, <laughs> two, <laughs> and one. All, All right. right. We're going to pump it up now, ladies. We got high knees in place for 30 oh, seconds. Oh. Y'all ready? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Level up. Let's go. Level up. Let's go. 30 seconds. Five, Working so hard, my pack four, came off. Three, <laughs> two, and rest. Woo! How y'all feeling? Great. Okay. Yeah. Good. A little right. winded, but we're gonna get down on the mats <laughs> now to wear some core. All right, let's take it down. Woo! <laughs> so, I want your knee, knees bent, mm -hmm. hands behind your head. Ooh. We're gonna Ooh. connect our right elbow with our left knee, left elbow to the right knee. All right. Okay. So we're going right here. It's called a crossover. Okay. Every time you come up, you want to exhale and squeeze on your abs. Ready? Let's go. Anika isn't even doing it right. Look, <laughs> points off. Points <laughs> off. She's not doing it right. Come on, Nika. Okay. Just push it. Come on. Okay. There we go. Your elbows are supposed to touch your knees, you cheater. We got 10 seconds, ladies. Nine, Ooh. eight, Ooh. seven, wow, six, this really burns. five, four, Three, two, and right. Uh, uh, How you feeling? Ladies, you're, you're uh, still alive? <laughs> Barely. Okay. Barely. Theo, Miko, thank you so very much you're for welcome. being here. Yay. It's been a fantastic Man Crush Monday. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so very much. This is, whew, all right, I'm almost <laughs> completely out of breath. <laughs> We've got more stew after this. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>
I am so oh, tired. Buddy. But it was so much fun. Yeah. And it's important it people out there to make sure you're health conscious and you take care of your body, not to try to look like anyone else. Be comfortable in your skin, obviously, yep. but take care of the inside and it will shine. Look at me sound like Oprah. <laughs> Moments. <laughs> and we also want to encourage you guys, as we talked about, to go out there and register to vote. Yep. Yes. Let your voice be heard, not just mm -hmm. on social media, not just at social gatherings or when you're talking amongst friends, but go out there and let your voice be heard. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And um, also make sure to remember or keep in mind who would be your last pick between two men. Why do you need to keep that in mind? Left on Earth. Because you got to plan for stuff like oh, that. Okay. All right? Oh, in case, you know, there's a zombie apocalypse or, you know, yeah. something. Yeah, likelihood of okay. that happening. This, these yeah. are your priorities, people, <laughs> yeah. choosing between those two. Yep. Obviously, very pertinent information we're giving to you, <laughs> the public. We had fun here on this, too. Thank you, as always, for tuning in. We'll see you on Wednesday for Woman Crush Wednesday. <laughs> Take a walk right over